It's a world we see every day, but know little about. Homelessness wears down the mind, body, and spirit. In 2015, 92 homeless men and women died in Utah. More than half passed away in care facilities and hospitals, others in temporary housing. 39 people died in shelters, on the streets, and in crudely constructed campsites. For the homeless, death is a stark and familiar presence. It lurks in back alleys, and sometimes in plain sight. The average age of death for those without adequate shelter is 51. Where do Utah's homeless go when suffering at the end, in the uneasy space between life and death? I was out on the street and had nowhere to go. And uh, hopelessness is, uh, it can ruin a person. I was lucky. I'm uh, just very grateful where I'm at right now. I get the, the help I need. Want to take time out to express gratitude for this meal that's been prepared. The In-Between is the first hospice for the homeless of its kind in the United States. Our overarching goal is just to ensure that people have a place to live, a place that they can call home at the end of life, a place where they feel safe, where they feel comfortable, and where they feel loved. Okay, well, this is the hallway. Uh, different rooms. This is my room here. Closet, safe to keep your medication, that in, your valuables. It's, it's small, it's perfect. It's perfect for me. And there's the gag wig my friends got me for uh, when I lose my hair. Keeps the rain off, i am got a real comfortable bed. Um, it's warm uh, and it's, something I didn't think I was going to have. I thought I was going to die down there in the shelter in the hospital ward down there. And uh, thank God I'm here. I, I look at it this way. I, 
I'm uh, 59 years old, and I didn't think I was going to make 40. 